Right, welcome to East Brighton Park Run. Uh, 195 this one will be for me, so we've got five more to go to get to the uh, 200 mark. As you're well aware by now, when we come to park runs, uh, 200 is really not a magic figure at all. There are people on way, way more than that. What's your name? Uh, Matt Holmes. Matt, uh, you've got a 250 vest on. Uh, to, tell me how many you've done all in all. Uh, I've done 270. 270. Where was your very first uh, one? Rygate Priory. How long ago was that? Uh, 2014. I've done uh, 100, about 148 different runs. I've run here before and I'm trying to do London, so do all the Greater London Park runs. Okay, so, and, and where's the furthest away from, where, where do you live? I live uh, near Rygate, so okay. Surrey. Uh, I just stayed down in Brighton and tonight. where's the furthest uh, park run you've done? I've run in Copenhagen, uh, Munich, and um, Men's Sala Park run in Florence. Fantastic. Paul, uh, how many park runs are you now on? I see you've got the 250 t-shirt on. We're at 268, I think. Today. 268. Where's the furthest one away that you've done? Mount Edgecombe, Plymouth. Plymouth, okay. And do you do two? Uh, hang on, Rouen in France. Not oh, sure. Rouen yeah. in France is yeah. probably more exciting, isn't it? But not as far away. Of all of them, which is which is your like, favourite park run that you've ever done? What's, what have you enjoyed the most? Seven Bridge. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay, cheers. Cheers, Paul. Both Victoria and I are full of lurgy today, so uh, we are going to go really slowly. There's no, there's no bounding off trying to win the race today. <laughs> You're full of lurgy as well. Yeah, let's all keep away from each other at Parkrun today so we don't spread our lurgy around. <laughs> Okay, so we are off in uh, East Brighton Park Run. Uh, Victoria and I are taking it very easy today because we're full of cold, so uh, no hijinks today, basically. Just passing Football Corner. Thank you. Thank you, will do. So it looks like each of the sections of East Brighton Park Run have little names. So that was Football Corner just back there. And we're going to come up to Beaky Hill in a minute. Right, first kilometre down in 5 minutes 48 seconds. Just coming to the turn for Beaky Hill. So we're running on these terraces above the football ground. So there are some people on a lower level and some people on this mid-level and some people on the upper level. Okay, that's two kilometers. 5.46 for that kilometer. And we're rounding the football pitch for a second time. So it's three laps of the course. Thank you. Right, here we go up Beaky Hill again. It's very likely that we will be overtaken by the lead runner before the end of the run. So down on the bottom terrace, there's our lead runner coming through there. He's on his final lap, well done buddy. So we're now on the top terrace. Three kilometers done. 5.46 again for that kilometer. So we're keeping a nice even pace. So we're just about to start our final lap, but the winner or the lead runner in the run at East Brighton is just first place. Thank you very much. First place is just about to come in here. Toby is the uh, first place at Park Run today. So he's done and we're off on our final lap. 
These guys are our tail walkers. Okay, a bit quicker on that kilometre, 5.33. Thank you. 5.33 for that kilometre. So we've sped up a bit. Final kilometre. How's he doing? Or should pull up here or not down? <laughs> How many park runs have you done then? Five park runs, well done you. There's always something a little bit unique about each park run and running on these terraces is really interesting. The switchbacks up on the three different levels of East Brighton Park Run is uh, really nice. For me, it feels like this is a very inclusive route. It doesn't matter what pace you are, you're pretty much near somebody. So final time climbing up the junction. And uh, this is our last little loop before we head to the finish. 4.6 kilometres in, 26 minutes. Downhill all the way. And into the finish. Under 30 minutes, which is good. Here we go. Thank you, Caroline. And exactly 5K on the watch, so that's good, isn't it? <laughs> We're not gonna complain at the race director for having mismeasured the course. Run director, do you know what, it's so difficult, that. Run director, first place, first finisher. Park run is just a fun event for anyone to take part in. It is not a race. I have to keep reminding myself of that. And we're filming this on the day Wales beat Ireland at home in the first round of the Six Nations. I'm not including that in the final video. Because I'm from not Barry Island, it. Wales. I'm not including it. <laughs> Pete, um, why should somebody come and do East Brighton Park Run? Why? Because it's awesome. <laughs> That's why. Well, it's all off-road. Uh, you know, it's good. It's an off-road course. It's um, uh, uh, you know good for all weathers, until, unless it's really, really, really. And my wife was saying because of the terraces, it's quite inclusive because you're with That's people right, all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three laps, and because there's loads of switchbacks, so you're always seeing people. Yeah. That's what I really uh, liked about. And you can course. wave at everybody. It's really good. <laughs> and uh, I was saying on the course, what's the uh, the one unique reason why this parkrun might get abandoned at midway? <laughs> Uh, oh well, helicopter. Has uh, it happened to you? Ambulance. It happened about, was it four weeks? About four or five weeks ago, we had the helicopter come in. It was, yeah, yeah. So you've, you have abandoned once? Yeah, yeah, yeah once. Right, that is it from East Brighton Parkrun. We've had a nice time. It's a very inclusive parkrun. You can see people on the way round, very enjoyable. All off-road, so it's all on the parkland, all on grass. Come on, uh, <laughs> There's a seagull. No, I'm not having that. We will be back next week for another parkrun. We haven't decided where we're going yet. Might be Bogner, because that could be our nearest one that we haven't done yet. We've done all the Brighton ones now. East Brighton is uh, quite well attended. It's not as well attended as, say, um, Hove uh, Prom, but uh, there are more people than Bevendine, for example. East Brighton Cafe as well. Very nice banana cake. And turmeric latte. Turmeric latte. Highly recommend. Who has turmeric latte? <laughs> if you want to see the park run we did at Bevendine a couple of weeks ago, then that link is right there. Otherwise, we will see you on the start line next time. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.